So when we're thinking about change of racket head speed, one of the shots that really springs to mind as well is the boast. And one thing you don't really want to do when you're boasting is to show your opponent that you are boasting because what they invariably do is they see the shots coming and they move on to it very quickly and they'll look to punish you, they'll attack you from a boast if they see it. So to be able to stop them from seeing it, you need to get yourself into a position with preparation that gives you options, that allows you to be able to play straight drives, drops, cross courts or both. So you, you want that happening as often as you possibly can when you're approaching a squash ball. Now, the next thing you need happening when you decide to boast is when you're actually hitting, when you make contact, you need to understand the racket angle that you need. You need to know where on the sidewall you're looking to hit the ball. And, and good boasters, they, they can go for the two wall working boast, the fading boast, or that one that's an outright winner into, into the nick. You see someone like Ali Farag plays it a lot, which is unbelievable, he actually goes for it. Um, but then once you're doing it and you're executing a boast, you need it to happen quickly. You need to get that ball round there as quickly as possible. Someone like Norel Shabini, she whips the ball round. Once she decides she's boasting, that ball boasts and gets round there so quickly. Same with Norel Tayeb. She loves to use the angle. But what she does do is when she's going for it, that ball, the racket head speed speeds up and it, it goes through at such a pace that it's really difficult and takes a bit of time away from the opponent and rushes the opponent to where, where they need to get to. And it makes the boast that much more effective as long as it's been balanced with preparation, angles, and knowing what part of the wall you want to hit and how you want to hit it and get, being in a good, solid, a good position that gives you options as well. If you can combine all those things and then get it happening quickly with that change of racket head speed, using the same principles that we talked about with the drive and the cross court. So remember, we talked about there's your drive, there's your cross court. Well, guess what? There's your boast. That's into the sidewall. And if those subtleties are happening, without much change, it's very difficult for your opponent to see, it's difficult for them to react. It, you become a nightmare for them because they won't be sure what you're hitting until you've hit it. So, so watch lots of squash, watch the examples, practice it, get yourself into these positions and then see if you can get the shot actually happening nice and quickly. And you'll be sure to be catching people out with that boast a lot when you play your matches.